Hey there everybody, welcome back for another lapidary video and this one's going to be a little bit different than any other polishing video I've made because we're going to be doing something that I've never done before and that is making a cabochon in its fullness from start to finish and I'm very nervous about that because I, like I said, I've never done that before. There's a lot of stuff I don't know and I'm learning, I'm still learning a lot. I'm not at all an expert in anything in the realm of lapidary so uh, I'm really excited about this but I'm also very nervous and uh, I've, I've wanted to do this for a while but I've been a little uh, been a little scared to dive in so today we're gonna dive in this video is gonna be a little bit longer and that's another reason why this is gonna be a little different than uh, some of our other polishing videos which I try to make uh, a little more quick a little more exciting and uh, yeah we're just gonna this is gonna be a little more of a chill hangout first time making a cabochon so let's look at the material we're going to be making our first cabochon with so here's the material we're going to be making our cabochon from it is called gary green jasper i was gifted this when i spent some time at the cap king headquarters they gifted it to me and it is very very beautiful i don't know where the stuff is found i'm sure you could google it i haven't so i'm not sure but it's really beautiful green is my favorite color and this thing is just killing it. Absolutely fantastic. And uh, looking at both sides of the slab here, it seems like this side compared to this side has less pockets. So we're gonna be pulling our cabochon from this area right here. And I'm thinking kind of coming down right here, up and then over kind of a, I don't even know what shape that would be, but yeah, that's, uh, that's kind of what I'm going for. And this right here, this is my five inch trim saw. I just put a brand new five inch thin center blade on it. We got to fill it with water still, but once we draw this shape on the slab here, we'll cut it into the rough shape before we head over to the Cab King. So let's, let's draw the rough shape of what we're going for with this. All right, that's actually not too bad. So that's kind of the shape I want it to go with. So we will now get some water in our trim saw and we'll cut that shape and uh yeah <laughs> hopefully that goes well so trimming that took about three and a half four minutes and it took it from that original slab to this right here and if you can see the, the lines that I drew with the permanent marker, there's a lot of extra wiggle room on the sides just because I am a little nervous and didn't want to screw it up before we even got started. So now we get to hop onto our eight inch cap king and start bringing those edges down and start shaping it. And uh, yes, very excited to get to that point. And uh, now the work begins. So the first wheel we're gonna start on is the 220 grit diamond wheel and we're gonna bring these edges down not all the way to the line but I'd say right around in there and then it'll give us a very very good shape to start with so let's do that So we worked that pretty good and it's funny it's got this weird little pocket here but that's going to be on the back side right here and that's going to get brought down just a little bit but that is kind of where we're at with the shape of this and I gave it a little extra room because as I was working it I would flip it over and I'd look at it and I'm like I really like that I like that size that and it's going to get a little smaller as we work it so we'll just we'll just go from there so now as you can see it's very boxy and we have to bring this top this is going to be the top the main display of the cabochon we need to start doming it giving it a nice rounded top and then the uh, the bottom here it's well it's gonna look like this kinda like this right here that's that's what I'm going for with the top right here that dome little curvature coming in and then a flat bottom and we're not gonna fully polish the back at the bottom however you want to say it but we're gonna make it look a little nicer than just a rough cut so yeah that's uh that's kind of what we're going for this figure 47 and this is one of these little 
you know, diamond abrasive, how do I use diamond abrasive books? And uh, yeah, this is what I'm using to try to find, find my way through this whole process. So let's start giving our piece that kind of a uh, top to it. And we're gonna hop right back on the 220 grit to do most of the work with that because if we went on to the 280 it's gonna take forever so we'll uh, hop back on here turn the water on a little switch and get back to work look at how beautiful that is wet isn't that just stunning we're still working on getting a rounded face right here. It's really flat right here. But I think if I get it brought down a little bit more here, when we move forward, it will finish off that rounded dome. So I'm gonna work it a little bit longer here. So here is after the 220 grit. You can see there's still a bit of a flat spot up here, but I'm gonna try to see how it goes when I move on to the 280 grit the black resin wheel see if we can give this more of a rounded top here if not we can back it up but we'll see what happens after we work it on the 220 grit for a long time I did add these um, I I don't know all the terms like I said I I don't know everything I'm not an expert but I think these are called girdle lines I'm probably wrong if I'm wrong correct me in the comments but added those in there as well and we're gonna, uh, yeah, we're just gonna <laughs> keep going here. This uh, this pocket right here did pop out, so I'm hoping that doesn't, as we work this down, doesn't start showing up right here. If it does, um, I may have to bring this top down to get that out of there, because I want I want this to be perfect. So, or as perfect as it can be with our skill set right now. So, yeah, let's let's move on to the 280 grit wheel. <laughs> Oh, wow. So we spent probably 25, 30 minutes on the 280 grit wheel just working this cabochon to its rounded shape. And not just the rounded shape, like we're really trying to get that flat spot out of the center out right here. We worked really hard to get that, but we are also working on getting the scratches out from the previous stage. So we were uh, doing kind of double duty on this thing, trying to get scratches out and round it perfectly, perfectly. Uh, each stage that we move on for now, the 600, 1200, 3000 on a micro level, we're going to continue to round this thing out. It's just going to... I think it's going to pop so well. And uh, the other thing too with this Gary Green Jasper that I'm seeing and it's full of character. And what I mean by that is there are some kind of some pockets, some little, I wouldn't even call them fractures. It's just, it just has depth to it. Literally. Uh, let me show you. Oh my gosh. I just dropped it. Oh, it's okay. Man, I just... I need a diaper change here. Wow, that was close. I've always heard those stories about dropping the cab and it cracks. I just just about fainted here. <laughs> okay, so here is where we're at with it. That's our shape. I love the shape. I think it's really beautiful. I don't think this pocket's going to cause a huge concern. I mean, um, you can kind of see it right there. I don't know. I don't know if I'm going to work that out gives it a little character we'll just we'll wait and see but yeah you can see it has a bit of a dome we'll continue to work it out a lot more on the next stage but it's just gonna it's gonna get better every time but you can see right here that just showed up and it's just part of the detailing of Gary Green Jasper it's got a lot of it on the back too little pits and depth to it as well so yeah we're now gonna move on to this side of the Cab King. I love hanging out on this side. We got 600, 1200, and 3000. So let's have some fun on the 600 grit wheel. So 
So one of the things that I'm doing constantly with each stage that we're going through is I'm turning off the water, grabbing a towel, and drying the piece off. And then I'm taking it and I'm looking at it in the light and seeing where there maybe are some flat spots. Like right here, I can see there's a little bit of a flat spot. And I think even right in here still there's a bit of a flat spot that it looks good here 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 it's just right there we gotta continue to work this to even that out but to work out also scratches from the stage prior so it doing this multiple times during each stage is helping me figure out what I gotta work on so that when we move forward we're ready to move forward and when we're done we're not looking at it going well we missed a spot so uh, yeah uh, I know where my trouble area is obviously right here this flat spot and I gotta take a closer look because I'm a little far back but um, we're pretty early in the 600 grit stage as well so yeah we'll keep going <laughs> I am excited because we got through the 600 grit resin wheel and we're gonna move on to the 1200 and it's looking really really good so far and uh, I'll show you here in a second I just want to say if you guys are liking this video so far do me a huge favor help support the video leave a thumbs up leave a comment uh, let me know what you think of the process so far up until the 600 grit and uh, we're gonna move on to the 1200 now after I show you where we're at, it's looking good. All right, I'm gonna try not to drop this again here, but there it is after the 600 grit. And the light's already playing on it very well, so I really think after 1200 it's gonna look amazing and even better after 3000. And the once was flat spot that's in the middle, um, I don't, I think it's, I mean, if there is one, it's hardly there. It's. I'm going to be working this area very hard every stage from now on and uh, it's just going to get more and more rounded so I'm really looking forward to seeing it after the 1200 grit so let's get started on there. So we have a few more spots we got to work out. I was just inspecting it here. It uh, looks like right in this area here on these, it's almost like a little flat spot right here. But, well, not really, but it's just kind of that awkward transition right here. I got to work that a little bit. Uh, the, some marks from the last stage, and then uh, I think besides that, it's looking, it's looking really good. That's after about five minutes on the 1200 grit wheel, so. We'll probably hit it for another five, ten minutes just to, just to be safe. So we just wrapped up the 1200 grit resin wheel. We worked it for about five, seven minutes and this is looking fantastic. I already showed you a little bit what it looks like so I'm going to wait until after we finish up on the 3000 grit wheel to show you what it looks like but that's the last stage for the wheels so let's get going with that and uh, I think uh, based off of the material I don't even know the hardness of this it's taking a polish very well so we might be able to wrap it up at the 3000 grit wheel so let's let's get going hands don't hurt at all <laughs> so we've been working on that Gary Green cabochon for I'd say two and a half hours and it paid off because we're done with it and I love it I think it turned out absolutely beautiful it has natural flaws in it 
class and like those divots that depth that I talked about earlier <laughs> not really any fractures or anything like that which is really fun to see because usually when I work like superior agates there's a lot of fractures in there so it was fun to work something that didn't have a ton of fractures but it did have some just natural character flaws which is perfectly fine so <sighs> let's go take a peek at it I'm really excited to show you look at the greens and that and the way the light plays on there you can see right there in the light there's some of those natural character flaws I was talking about we could maybe bring the dome down a little bit but I just feel like it's just part of it it's gonna keep going down a little bit but overall the shape the size everything I think it turned out very well and uh, th this is the backside I hit it just for probably five seconds with every stage there's still marks and everything but with cabochons you know if they're going to be laid into jewelry you're not going to see the back so I didn't really need to do that but I just thought why not <laughs> and uh, this little pocket up here I think that's you know I don't think it causes too much cause for concern I don't think it would really be noticed but yeah, I think the coloring on that is fantastic and really happy with how it turned out. My first completed cabochon ever. I'm really, uh, I'm, I'm very happy with it. I'm very proud of the work that I put into this. I think it turned out, I think it turned out very well. And let me know what you think about that, if there's any areas where I can get better at because I am hoping to someday be able to consider myself a lapidary artist. I don't think I am one right now. I know I'm not an expert. Or anything like that I'm just trying to get there someday I'm aspiring to be a lapidary artist so I had a lot of fun with this and it definitely helped me boost my confidence and know you can make cabochons and I'm gonna make more of them I have a ton of material and I'm really excited about it so if you like this video I know it's probably gonna be a longer one I appreciate you sticking through it if you've made it to this point if you liked it, leave a thumbs up, leave a comment, let me know what you thought, and uh, we'll see you on the next one. Bye.